Before starting the review, just want to thank Orts for sending me a free Orts gaming case for my Nintendo Switch. And also wanted to let you know that it will not change my critique on the product whatsoever. If you've been involved with Nintendo Switch in any way, you're bound to see this case. The Orts gaming case for the most part has been getting rave reviews, and after some time of waiting and finally getting my hands on it, it's easy to understand. The Orts Switch case has a sleek and heavy duty design. It's also very comfortable and lightweight. It has these textures on the grip to make it that much harder to wear it out, as well as supplement it with an expensive look. Not only does it look expensive, but it does feel very high quality. Its rubber and plastic modeling is very thick, which makes it very impact shock resistant. It has five perfectly fitted game slots in its back, with a shell casing slash stand to protect it. On the top, it also has extended power and volume buttons, which enables you to just press on the case, opposed to reaching in a space. It also has great use of ventilation spaces. On the bottom of it, you can see two horizontal spaces for the Switch's ventilation, as well as the top next to the game cart slot. Even even though this case is sturdy, it's surprisingly easy to just fit the switch into it, which makes it that much more ergonomic. So with all of these positives and features that the case has, there are some things that can be improved. Like for starters, the stand. Since the stand is also a shell cover for the games, it needs to be easy to open, as well as close. And in this case, it is. But since it's a stand, having an entire Nintendo Switch lean on it, opposed to the Switch's stand, any surface that isn't a rug, or that has some kind of friction, will cause the stand to slide down. It doesn't fall completely flat, but it does slide to an angle that's harder to see. An easy fix for this, and there is space for this addition, would be to add a small rubber nub on either angle of that stand or shell casing, or in the center of it so it won't slide out if you're on a surface that doesn't have friction to it. Another feature that could be improved, even though the games do fit well into the game slots, they are kind of difficult to take out, and I can imagine it being somewhat of an issue if I'm in public and I'm trying to fit my nail into one of the game slots, but drop the game on accident on a bus or any platform that's moving. So it is slightly difficult to take out the games, but it's surprisingly easy to put them in. The same could be said about the Nintendo Switch itself fitting into its case. Even though the Switch is very easy to put into the case and is well supported, it's a little too supported to the point that you need to stretch and bend the case with enough force just to get your Switch out. And it does give me a little bit of anxiety because the Joy-Cons aren't officially attached to the Switch, so I can imagine myself if I don't take out the Switch efficiently enough to maybe loosen one of the Joy-Cons a little bit on accident. But it comes with the heavy duty design of the case itself, so that's something you can't really change. It will be a little difficult to take the Switch out of its case, but once the Switch is in, it'll be very secure and you most likely won't want to take it out anyway. Another thing that a lot of heavy duty Nintendo Switch cases have a problem with is the game cartridge slot. I had the same problem before with the battery pack that I have attached to my Switch. It's no problem because the battery pack is easier to remove by just pressing two buttons. But for the Orts gaming case, if you are thinking about switching out your games, it's going to be slightly more difficult since there is some blockage, causing the game slot cover to almost completely cover the game cartridge. So you need to kind of push the game slot cover to the side just to get your cartridge out. And just like with other bigger cases, the game slot cover will start to retract and push on the cartridge itself. So it is slightly harder to get games out and vice versa. If there was a slight less layer to that part of the case, then the game slot cover would have more breathing room. But that's a common problem that big cases have with the Nintendo Switch. And the last critique and also compliment is the Orts Gaming logo. I personally think the logo looks cool, so I don't mind it. It's right on top of the game slot's cover slash stand. So if you don't like the logo and you prefer the Nintendo Switch logo instead, that might be a negative to you. But if you don't mind the Orts Gaming logo, then it shouldn't be a problem to you. So yeah, if you like what you heard in this review and if the Orts Gaming case appeals to you, then the link's in the description for a 20% coupon, as well as a direct link to the product itself. And thanks for watching, guys. If or when you buy it, let me know what you think about it. And have a good one. Later.